Hey everyone, FishPace31 and today guys, we're back with another video and today I'm going to give you guys the top 5 best mods to play in DDLC. Now before we start with the video lads, just know that I played a total of 15 mods, so these are my opinions, but for the most part I would say these are pretty correct. These mods will be ranked based on ambition and how much work was put into it. The main factors of a good mod for me is the following, DDLC horror elements, original art, original music, and original character sprites. All these make an amazing mod for me personally, but some people may have different criteria. And also, before the video starts, I just want to let you know that the video is going to work like this. I will be going fully in depth in each mod, but right now on the screen are timestamps, and there are also timestamps in the description. If you'd like to play all these mods, go to these timestamps and I will let you know when I start talking about the spoilers. This is just so you can see the names of the top 5 mods and then basically play them for yourselves if you really wanted to. So basically let's say number 5 spot is at 1 minute and 45 seconds. You can go there and for about 10 seconds I'll talk about the mod in a non-spoiler way and then after that I'll say okay spoilers start here. Hope you all understand so if you want to see my mods without getting spoiled click the following timestamps in the description. Okay now onto the video. Coming into the number 5 spot, I'm going to put the Festival mod. Now, at this point, I'm going to be mentioning spoilers, so skip to the next one to not see spoilers. Playing this mod was an awesome experience for me, because it relies heavily on game files to get both endings. This mod features a brand new character, which from what I know, not a lot of mods have. This mod also features original sprites, and it has two different endings, which can be the, either be a bad ending, or a somewhat good ending? The downside to this mod is that it does use a lot of DDLC features like the music or effects, but still pretty awesome. There is original music in the credits and I did get to talk to the developer, so that's pretty cool. Overall, pretty decent mod and not an insult to have at all at the number 5 spot. Coming into the number 4 spot, this is going to be Sayori Date. At this point, I'm going to be mentioning all spoilers. So Sayori Date reminds me a lot of the original Doki Doki Literature Club game because it appears to be a cutesy type of mod, but in my opinion, it is the scariest Doki Doki mod out there. The mod gets scary pretty fast, and has some clever horror usage in there, similar to DDLC. There is, unfortunately, no game file secrets, but there is original sprites and original art. Music is also pretty awesome in this mod, and it's a short mod, which is approximately 10 minutes. Seor Day is a great horror mod, and that's going to be my number 4 sp <laughs> Coming into the number 3 spot, it is Doki Doki Exit Music. After this point, spoilers will be mentioned for this mod. Doki Doki Exit Music is definitely the outlier of this list, as it's completely different from all the other mods on this list. Doki Doki Exit Music is not a horror mod at all, but rather what it would be like to pursue Natsuki and save her from her abusive father. This mod features original art, original sprites, and original music. This is actually one of the few mods that doesn't have Monica be self-aware. This mod for a while goes well. You save Natsuki from her father, you live together, you visit the club together, and everything goes downhill when Yuri and Siori try to date you and get mad and jealous and try to convince Natsuki that MC doesn't love her. I'll make a separate video on all these mods individually if you guys want me to, but basically the mod takes a crazy turn when Natsuki is taken to the hospital because of self-harm and basically when her father comes back and takes her back to his house. You walk in in the house to discover this. This took a big turn pretty quick, and after this, the club gets disbanded. MC is crying for a long time, so much that he even missed a funeral for Natsuki. At this point, MC has had enough, and no matter how much Monica runs after him and tries so hard to save him, the mod ends with the protagonist jumping off of a bridge because of Natsuki's death. This mod also must have been pretty hard to put together, because in the note at the end, it's revealed that one of the people who helped develop the game ended up actually committing suicide themselves. 
Just knowing that is sad enough, and I hope that the team has recovered from the situation. I love this mod overall because of the ambition and the fact that Monica is not self-aware. Overall, really solid mod, and pretty emotional towards the end. Coming in at the number 2 spot, this is going to be the good ending. After this point, spoilers will be mentioned. This mod is really goddamn good. It's between this and number 1 that I think about when I think of a good mod. This mod has a lot of ambition in it, so... Looking at it, it's advertised as the good ending, but it's something horrifying and completely opposite of what the title suggests. There are two versions of it, the prologue and act one. The prologue is my favorite between the two because it's a scary mod and MC and Monica are both self-aware. There are a lot of third eye mentions and if you know what that is, then you're a true DDLC fan. It's pretty professional because there's original music, original sprites, and hidden game file messages. I can't express to everyone how much I love the hidden game file messages, they're just awesome as shit. In this mod, you save the other characters from Monica before Monica attempts to tamper with them and make them crazy. This mod doesn't care about language and overall really goddamn good. Oh, and I forgot to mention, because MC is self-aware, he says whatever he wants and basically goes off script. This is scary for Monica and when MC realizes what Monica wants to do to the others, he always yells at her and tells her pretty real and offensive shit. You walk back into the club room after basically shit-talking Monica, and you see- This mod takes a crazy turn, just like exit music. And that was only the prologue. Act 1 of the good ending is basically where the prologue is not remembered by any of the characters, and everyone is happy with each other for a while. This is when Monica finds out that MC is self-aware. They work together, but MC doesn't tell Monica about her past doings, which is the base game of DDLC. It's up to the player in real life to help her out and tell Monica about her past doings. Monica is angry with the protagonist when she finds out everything, and Act 1 ends here. I'm very excited for Act 2, and this is an amazing ass ambitious mod, and that's our number 2 spot. Coming into the number 1 spot, or the best DDLC mod of all time, this was an easy pick for me, and it's Monica Before Story. All spoilers for this mod are starting right now. All I have to say is that it's literally perfection. First off, everything is original. There's original art, original music, original sprites, everything. This is also a horror mod, and messes with the game files a lot, but can also be a cute mod. Monica has a route, and it can be innocent and happy for her, but can also be horrifying if you want it to be. There are a total of 11 different endings, and here's what's sad, okay? The festival scene in this mod is better than the entire festival mod. It just shows how ambitious this mod is. As a Monica fan, I love this mod. It's really awesome. There are little sudden things that can happen in this mod that revolve around horror that are just really fucking cool. It's possible to even get just Yuri, just Sayori, just Natsuki, and it's like, holy shit, this mod is too goddamn good. I feel like I should save most of it for a separate video on this mod, but basically in my eyes, this mod is perfect. It can either be wholesome or horrifying, and it's really up to your choice. Even with this mod, I contemplate whether base DLC is better, or if this mod is better. Trust me, you won't regret it, and as a Monica fan, who is for sure my favorite girl, PLEASE DO NOT FIND ME AND KILL ME, um, this mod is for sure my favorite mod of all time, and I'm going to make a separate video on it now. This mod is 100% worth your time, and if you're a Doki Doki Literature Club fan, definitely check it out. Anyways guys, that's the video, thanks for watching all of it, I really do appreciate it. These mods are all good, so I would recommend to play all of them. If there are any separate videos you want me to make on these mods, let me know in the comments. These are all pretty damn good, especially the top three. And I had fun playing all of them. Let me know in the comments if any of you have played these mods and your opinions on them. Thank you all for watching and have a good day or night. Peace.